We've found enough toads. Let's get on. But yeah. Again. They had the Disc of Kothis completely cut off. There was no reason to let us in there because they want to stop the Chosen King. They want us to not achieve that. Oh. Magic. And a campsite. Better just... Oh, we already, I think we already discovered this. But Wrong button, Dini. Well, right button, just wrong prompt. Absorb. Oh, thanks, buddy. Really need to level up my Alamancy. Mount. I keep getting distracted by things. Need to commentate more of relevant things, but yeah. They had the Disc of Kothis completely cut off, but then Arden comes out of nowhere and says, Open up! It's me! And then they open up and let us talk to the Titan, which goes crazy, and then they come to try and kind of quell it. What is the king's calling, exactly? Well, become best buds with the gods, maybe? Legend has it the king once stood alongside the six in the battle to banish the darkness. Ooh. Darkness seems <laughs> awfully vague. True. But yeah. They want to capture us. They want to kill us, don't they? From what we've seen of the other thing, like the other people, they're trying to find us and stop us. So why would one of their head people just get up, let us in, and continue our journey? I mean, he didn't give us our car back. What was that red stuff? I'm confused! So yeah, there's much more to Arden than meets the eye. Oh, it's that thing. Some kind of fortress. Yeah, a port of fortress. Those walls don't look so portable, though. They are remnants of the old wall, and the Imperial Army has availed itself of the added protection. Entry will not be easy. Nope. Make camp at Schmuck and devise an infiltration strategy. So yeah, I think there's more to Arden than meets the eye, mainly because, like, I don't think there would be much for them to really gain from letting us continue our journey of becoming the Chosen King. It keeps cutting out the Chocobo music, and it's so weird. Gonna go ahead and save properly. New train available versus Glabios and Prompto. Let's train. I'll kick their butts. Gladiolus and Prompto, I shall murder you. I got slammed. Come on and slam. How did I get confused? How did I get confused? How did I get confused? Ow! Jerk! This is unfair. No, that is unfair. They never in Screw you. That is kind of evil. Just, you are now confused. What? Screw you. You let me use a potion. It should end automatically if I, can, if I can't use a potion. Same. Ow. 
I dodged. Screw you. Cocky ass. What the fuck? And, oh hey look, I can do things, but then, just stops. If they can't kill me, they don't deserve it, and screw you, I shall win. But then they're pulling all these things that they never use on enemies. They never use these on... Wouldn't let me dodge. And suddenly, confused! Is that just an ability he can use? Fine, I'm just gonna sit here and dodge all the while until it disappears. And better sit here because, yeah, he just did a super explodey that I never seen him use. Well, I've seen him use similar things, just nothing like that. There we go. Just need to dodge more against allies. Ow. Ow. He can dual wield. Ow. He's doing the same thing again. No. And I held the dis the button. Nope. Need to relearn. Screw you. All that C because we made you sit there for like a few minutes holding your dodge button. But what do you expect to happen? They can just do an instant explodey thing. Camping sucks when it rains. I've seen him do like a ground shake move, but not a run up your face and explodey thing. And again, it should just automatically end once you get to the dangerous state. But for whatever reason, they just let it happen. Let's see. Oh, that's your favorite food. These must be new things added. Let's see. Ooh, we got lots of stuff in his prompto's favorite. Well, I'm gonna do that. And then, just continue. We got... Do, 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 do. We're not gonna let. Well, some of us are gonna level up. I wonder why Ignis didn't level up. Hmm. Skill level up, Gladiolus. High elixir hunt. Of course, we're gonna save that. <laughs> Good timing, I remember that. Kind of interesting. Eh, nah. A uh, nice kind of cave. <laughs> Frozen Naga. Oh, he's crazy and evil. You completely ruined the selfie. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do big, that'll do. Well, the training's getting ridiculous. I've never fought prompted before. He's definitely someone who's talking. Any bright ideas, Ignis? A dark one, as it were. A frontal assault would leave us exposed. But if we move under cover of night, we might be able to infiltrate the base unnoticed. And until then? We learn all we can about the base's design and attempt to narrow down the regalia's location. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. Sounds good, Specs. All right! We're gonna get our wheels back! Yeah! I mean, we just upgraded it. Noctis must retrieve the regalia before morning. Begin the operation. Yes! Undaunted by the Empire's imposing technology, Noctis and his Ritne risk everything to break inside Archeo Stronghold and recover the stolen regalia. That is an invasion force, just so you know, in the background there. That is terrifying. I don't want to meet that. I don't want to see that. Two of those enemies were bosses before. Our goal is the regalia. The last thing we want is to engage an entire garrison. Avoid detection at all costs. 
In and out before it gets light, then. Indeed. Even if it means leaving the task unfinished, we withdraw before we overstay our welcome. Alright, infiltrate the base. Hey? Oh. It's an active base. Together on my signal. Until then, hold position. Alright. Three. Two. One. One. While infiltrating in Primibase Noctis may take down foes instantly with a warp kill from behind. Be sure to take advantage of the warp kill command as often as possible. Now. We Assassin's Creed up in here. You're in fine form. Keep it up. We have to get in and out before daylight. That's about, I'd say, six hours or so. We Metal Gear now. Stop. What? Searchlights. That's what I figured. We're clear. Tread warily. All right. <laughs> hey. Those things. Staring right at us. Not seeing us. Idiot robots. Take cover. That was a weird walking cycle. shouldn't have to if we keep to the shadows see right <laughs> i mentioned earlier that sneaking better was probably not going to be that good and this is kind of what it is it's uh it's kind of cool that there's kind of like a backstab mechanic but too bad it's not there in actual fighting only in these sneaking missions target the blind spot one hit one kill Warp kill outside of spotlight. That's how it's done. Oh yeah, like a boss. Head back behind cover. Alright. So we head this way. How we get in there? Around the bend. No? So I guess we continue on this way. Outside of that, because I'm pretty sure if we walk into the light, that thing will activate. Pick up. Reflex enhancer. Never use those. Let me look. Magitek armor must currently be not in use. Open. That is terrible defense. This what's powering the base? A Magitek generator of some description. It would explain why the troopers in the vicinity are uncommonly strong. Even though we can take them down in one hit. Record. Spare us the sneaking around. The risk is too great. Finding the regalia comes first. Yeah, I would say find the regalia. You'll alert the enemy. I, Got it. I would say find the regalia. Then when we can. What? Noctis has been all nearby enemies must win before they continue. I don't even know what they saw. Unnaturally strong, they say. That was close. Who are you hanging around here? Indeed. I don't even know what they saw to spot us. So yeah. <laughs> Not good sneaking. Another match tech booster. These things are good for selling. Because I don't use them. Uh, 
Ah, uh, there's the regalia. There's the old girl. She's a real sight for sore eyes. And none the worse for her time in Imperial hands. And then thingy. Break your legs. I thought the the energy tanks. They'll take out the enemies nearby. But they never work for us. Use the Imperial weaponry to blow up the energy tanks. Catch troopers and explosion deal massive damage. And where would those be? Four points. Alright, time for guns. I'm trying to hit it. Kill them. Okay, so that thing's basically useless. Really should have. Hello. Goodbye. Are you trying to get into that thing? I'm not going to let you. No more gun then. Around. Bunk. How'd you even get up here? I was here earlier and I didn't see you. Coward. Alright. Destroy the Magitech generator. Yes, sir. Now how do we get there? Through the door. So who knew? Taking out the generator was a smart plan in the beginning anyway. The entire base is fair game. Hold nothing back. The habit keeps the enemy off balance. Surprise! I'm killing things. Wow, nine, 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 nine damage. I'm over leveled for this. Give me a challenge. Let's see here. Nothing to shoot. Let's move on. Things to kill. Oh, no item in here. Oh, there was an item. On a table this time. Is that a person? They're playing all this epic music like this is a big thing that's supposed to scare us. It doesn't. Where are you? Oh, hi there, opening. 
Rama, the Fulgarian, has designed to support the struggling has de deigned to support the struggling king. Noctis can now call upon the gods' power to defeat foes. What? Where? This can't be. It said, uh, L2, so. Oh, come on! Get out of my way, I'm trying to summon stuff. Die, asshole. Well, I'm not seeing how to summon him. That's not who I was targeting. Like, I'm trying. There we go. Maybe. You've angered the lightning god, bitches. I strike upon thee. Laser sensor, laser sensor. This is the might of the six. Dude, that was hardcore. It completely ruins the look of everything. This is dead. Rest in pieces. Come on, let's grab the regalia and split. <laughs> oh, my eyes hurt. Everything is black on my TV. Everything is dark. Piece of cake, huh? <laughs> this part is. Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this. We summoned a god and destroyed their generator. Really busting up that base. <gasps> bust a base. I like the sound of that for this sort of thing. Look, there's a base. We go in and bust it up. Bust a base. Whatever. I'm calling it that. You don't have to. I won't. Seems a bit flippant. Yeah. Why not go for something a little more epic? Because I thought of it first. So that's the name. Bust a base. Get used to it. Easier said than done. So I'm just gonna say it. In exchange for the kind of poor meh, yeah, like, okay, now go get the car. That made it worth it. Blow up the base with the power of the lightning god. That is worth it. Ah, oh, guys? Hello there. Long has it been, Noctis. Bravis. You received the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Not gonna put your swords up for him? Watch it. Be still, all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the chosen king. Awful high and mighty for an imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I do not serve, I command. The king's sworn shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. He looks like he's barely even trying. Okay, this guy's a badass. A moron, but a badass. Wanna go? Let's do it. Should the chosen fall, that too is fate. Boss time? I'd say that's oh, I didn't. enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Ooh! New area? It just so happens we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? 
Ravis Nox Fleuray, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freya. Well, that was weird. At long last, the Imperial blockades of Discayan roadways have been removed. The Arden works fast. Demolished all related facilities erected around the region. The provisional government of Insomnia anticipates increased traffic congestion along most local highways and encourages all citizens to refrain from any unnecessary travel for the time being. So help me figure this out. That was Luna's brother? The High Commander himself. Wartime makes for quick promotions. Even a son of Tenebrae can rise to the top. But why would he want to lead their army? Who cares? Certainly formidable enough on his own. Ugh. If Ravis wants power, I'll give him a taste. I will say this, though. I'm kind of disappointed and... Let me do it. Okay, good. I'm kind of disappointed that, like, the occupation of Disguy was so short because like that should have been a big thing with uh the kind of more uh oppression or just more presence like there was military presence but it was just so fast it just felt meaningless and then they're gone just as fast as they came like within two hours of game time they came in set up shop broke down and left and that's just meh So yeah, before we continue anything, we're just going there so that we can save, stock up on stuff, and then get our bearings. But then we're going to do a whole lot more uh, side questing, because that was a lot of story that we just went through. We went from the Titan to this. And also, I'm kind of sad that it looks like summoning gods won't be uh, uh, like in other games where you can well then again I'm not sure how it works in other games but I figured it would have been some kind of special spell that you get and then for uh, under certain conditions and stuff you can summon oh right so Nox haven't taken pics of whatever catches my eye but what do you want to see more of me uh me I guess no prob. Leave it to me. What? No, I was Why would kidding. you say you were kidding for that? Dummy. You were dummy. Dummy. You made me miss my parking spot. Another nitwit. Tell stories. 